Hey guys, I'm back again. And today, I wanted to show you something new. In the background, this is our new UI interface. And this is a completely reworked application. It looks a lot different than the old one. And in this video, I want to go through all the different features it has. Just a quick rundown, nothing in detail. If you watch this, you will know why you should change to the new UI instead of using the old one. Starting with the dashboard, you have more or less the same information as in the old UI. You have your licenses, your racing calendar activity, and your carrier stats. And on the right side, you usually have some news and updates and links to different things. Uh, for example, we have the race lab roadmap where you can send your suggestions and it can get upvoted and be prioritized to develop. Next, have a look at the overlays. Now, this is one of my favorite uh, page. It shows you a preview of all the different overlays we have. And this gives you a much, much easier way to figure out if you want to use one overlay or not, if you like something or not. It also have a nice separation between the normal overlays and the streaming overlays, as it has a different background, as you can see. But one of the main reasons I love this, because how easy and quick it is to use. So let's just say I want to use the relative overlay. Now, if I click here, I might be able to spot it immediately. But if it's down here somewhere, I might not. So let's say I'm looking for the fuel calculator. So the one of the ways I like to use this is I click on the main menu and I don't click anywhere else. I just start typing fuel and then it immediately filters it out for me, making it like this to find any overlays. Well, if you know the name of the overlay, of course. But uh, let me just show you again. If Let's say if I'm looking for... What should we look for? The blind spot. Let's look for the blind spot. Blind. Boom. It takes less than a second to find. So, you know, you don't have to look and try to find the name of the overlay on the left side. It's just um, a quick way to access it. Okay, let's have a look at the layouts. Now, in this video, I'm not going to explain what a layout is. It will be in a different video. So the layouts page changed a lot. As you can see, we have now these previews for every single layout that you have. So it makes it much, much easier to identify a layout that you previously created. So if you know what you want to change, you might not remember the name of the layout that you've given it. But because of the previews, it will be just much, much easier to recognize. So I just want to show you a quick preview of the layout editor. And this is how it looks. It, it looks much, much nicer than the previous one. It has a cleaner editor. And if you want to edit an overlay, then it has a zoom in edit mode as well, making it a lot, lot easier to manipulate all the different overlays and settings within your layout. Now have a look at the series module. A lot of people don't even know this module exists. The series module will show you a lot of different details, metrics, and statistics about every single series iRacing has, such as what are the best lap times for this week, for this series, which car is the fastest in a given multi-class series. So just uh, very quickly, I'm uh, sh going to show you IMSA which, as you can see, consists of three different class, um, car class. And each class has many different brands, many different car manufacturers um, within that series. So it, it, it gives you a quick overview about which car is the fastest of the given week. And we have many other statistics. You can really browse through this module and you will see many useful statistics about uh, you know, the given series. The next is the community menu. You, by default, you see your own profile and we have the friends. You can search and add friends. Uh, by the way, you can also look at your friends profile if you're interested in their racing activity or progress. You can also mark them with our driver tagging feature, so you can see these tags in your overlays. 
Um, so as I mentioned, friends, tagged drivers, where you manage your tagged drivers here. After a race, just come here and then you can easily add any of the drivers you had raced with and add tags to them. Uh, gifting a membership and we have a stat bot, which is a streaming feature. So the next is the account menu. Um, nothing much to say about this, just your main account details. Uh, obviously, we have the notification feature. Notifications and updates will come through here. And then you have the settings. Now, this is just the settings, the place where you change the, the main settings of the app, such as the language of the app or the units of measurements, metric or imperial, and so on and so on. And lastly, we have the support. You can find articles about how to use the app and how to set it up. Um, and release notes. You can see what changes has been added to the current release. And at last, we have a page where you can just get in contact with us. And maybe the last thing I need to show you is the game switcher. This is where if you want to play with F1 and configure the overlays for Formula 1, then you just switch the game here and then you are free to set up your overlays. Uh, you know, the same with the layouts. Each game has its own layout list. So if I change back to irising, you can see that it's a different list because each game has its own different list. One really cool feature I wanted to show you is the live view. Now, I'm not going to go into details, just so you know, the live view, if I click on it, this panel comes out, it shows you all the opened overlays and the open layout that you have, and it gives you a very quick access to also edit any of them. So if I want to edit the weather monitor, then it's just one click away and it brings me straight to the overlay to change anything I would like to. It also has this compressed view where I already can see and tell that I have a normal layout open, a layout called normal, and three different overlays. So that would be the quick review of this new UI. Let us know what you think, put your comments below, let me know what you liked in it, let me know what you disliked in it. Any suggestions are welcome, because that's the only way we can improve. All right, and as always, see you guys later.